Hey guys, it's Tom here with MYT Solar. Got a install here on an F28 RKS Glacier Peak from Outdoors RV, a fifth wheel. I'm excited to show you around. A few weeks back we posted a video kind of about our entry level install and that was actually on a Glacier Peak fifth wheel for Outdoors RV as well. And so that included two Victron 330 amp hour batteries. The customer went with the factory solar and then we came in and did everything else. And we really made that RV super special. Adding that inverter, adding that lithium battery, adding the monitoring where you're able to actually see what that thousand watts of factory solar was doing. It was a really great, we're really proud of that entry level install that we do on these rigs. And we think that alone will change the way that people RV in these. This customer went a step above. So let me show you what else we did for this guy. And this is kind of that middle ground. Not off the walls, every possible charging source possible, as much solar could fit on the roof, as much battery we could fit that middle ground and we're excited to show you it's pretty pretty sweet whether it's the biggest install that we've done on an outdoors rv or whether it's kind of an entry level you're still going to end up with a whole house inverter so this is a 3000 watt multi plus and the rig is unplugged of course we're going to have all our outlets are still going to work our air conditioner is still going to run our microwave is going to run all those comforts that you would usually get when you're plugged into shore power at an rv park of course we're going to need that with any great solar system to start with the batteries, we obviously, this customer was getting by with one lead acid battery. Didn't take long for him to realize that that's not really any good way to camp, regardless of the amount of solar on the roof. Those batteries were removed. That was actually where we had the MultiPlus that we just showed you. Now we have three 330 amp hour Victron lithium batteries. We're talking almost a thousand amp hours of batteries. The battery that we removed there were two batteries actually there were, they were 100 amp hours each. That's 200 amp hours. He's gone from 200 amp hours to 1000 amp hours essentially. Now here's the, the stick on that. That 200 amp hours of lead acid that he had is actually only usable down to 50%. So really he was getting by on 100 amp hours. And now he's gone to 1000 amp hours of lithium, which is totally usable all the way to zero percent. Essentially that's a tenfold increase in his battery capacity and you can just imagine even without the solar how, how awesome that could be to keep the 12 volt stuff running. All of our systems are going to come with two of these 330 amp hour batteries so 660 amp hours. Again talking about increasing from factory even our entry level system as we talked about is still a quite a large system in terms of battery. He's gone with the third battery for, for 990 amp hours the factory solar was removed. We've added in 2000 watts of solar on the roof. All the little Victron gizmos and gadgets that we need to make this thing operate properly. We program everything properly and we, we take a lot of care in how we do our wiring as you can probably tell. And it's really just about making sure that this system is gonna last a long time because this is not like getting new batteries lead acid batteries. This is, this is a system that we want to outlive the rig and with Victron's quality of their components we honestly expect that. So making sure that everything is installed perfectly and programmed correctly. All of these Victron devices are networked and speak to each other and they make sure the batteries get what the batteries need when they need it. Obviously with all this Victron stuff the nice thing that we also get on all of our systems is the touch screen inside and I'll show you that. I speak to a lot of customers who have had some solar work done or they've replaced their batteries with lithium and they've got the Victron Smart Shunt and maybe a Victron Charge Controller. What's great about our systems is because the batteries are Victron, the controllers, the charge controllers are Victron, the inverter is Victron. We added in the other device called the Servo which ties all those devices together and not only do we get monitoring through Bluetooth on our phones, we also get this awesome screen. This is another thing that not everybody will have with their solar, which to me is the only way to do it. Even without, regardless of battery capacity and how much solar's on the roof, this screen alone will drastically improve your RVing because you may have a smart shunt and solar and be able to get that stuff via Bluetooth but you don't know what your 120 volt is doing. And that's what's gonna come in here. We know what, we know we're plugged into shore. We know exactly how much we're pulling from shore. We know how much 120 volt we're running. We run the fan, for example, from the air conditioner right now. This is, uh, this is still, we're plugged in right now, but still we get to see, boom, we get to see 
the fan come on in wattage and then shortly after it's not that cold in here i'll turn it down you know we're, we're running 300 watts and then wait for it give it a second we get to see the compressor kick on we actually are aware of what we're running in the coach there's no there's no there's nothing about power in this coach that we don't know. We know how much 12 volt we're running from our lights and our max air fans and our furnace and our 12 volt fridge. We know where our batteries are at. We know how much solar is coming in. We just know literally everything about our power system in the coach. And if you've ever been out camping without something like this and you're just wondering, oh, I wonder how much I'm draining my batteries right now. Should we be using this much power? I wonder. How fast is my generator charging the batteries now? When will they be full? I wonder how, how long, how much sun I'm gonna to need to get the batteries back to 100%. All those questions that just kind of like take away from RVing are kind of solved by having this awesome screen that shows all that information. Said that screen kind of is gonna change the game in terms of knowing your power. But again, we're talking about this customer going a step above our entry level. And so of course they get the screen and the inverter and the lithium, they added a lithium battery so they boost that capacity a little bit. But they also, rather than sticking with a thousand watts of factory, like the video that you saw recently, we've gone with 2000 watts of rich solar. And so they've really cre increased that up. We could have fit more up here, but this, again, this customer was looking for that middle ground. They didn't want to coat the roof so they couldn't walk up here. There's a nice walking path, as you can probably see next to the air conditioner. There's room to remove the air conditioner and service the air conditioner. There's room to walk around and check the seals. All of those great things that are really nice to have on a roof. But we've got 2000 watts of solar. A huge improvement over the 1000 watts of factory solar. Again, it's solar that we've done. It's solar that we trust. We've wired it in a way that we expect to get the best production because you can have a thousand watts and a thousand watts of solar. So many variables can, can determine how much output you get out of that thousand watts of solar. Obviously there's variables we can't control like the conditions and the sun, but we can control where the panels are placed on the roof to avoid shade. We can control whether the panels are wired in series or parallel. We can control our wire lengths. We can control the crimps that we make. There's all sorts of things that we can control when we put the solar on to really drastically improve what might come from the factory. Now, again, 2000 watts of solar feeding almost 1000 amp hours of battery. That's kind of a perfect little matchup right there. This customer will get some air conditioner usage each day. The batteries will hopefully get back to full each day, depending on how much they're using, of course. But again, with that screen, they're able to control that and, and actually know and be aware of that. Again, a great higher end, I'm not going to, I'm calling it middle, middle ground, but like I kind of said with our entry level, it already is a pretty high end system. But in terms of what we offer, middle ground, a nice medium kind of size for this fifth wheel. Really happy with this how, turn, how this turned out. The customer is going to go on a lot of adventures to southern Utah. They're going to be hanging out in Moab which I think the solar will do excellent for them there. We're excited, excited to see where they take this outdoors RV now that it's fitted out with such an epic power system. We're excited to see all the photos from the great boondocking sites that they can get to. They don't love going to RV parks. Their plan is to be in an RV park, short amount of time, fill up their water, top up their batteries to 100% and then go for as long as they can, then come back just briefly again to top up their batteries and dump their water and refill their fresh tank, things like that. They're really equipped now and it's a great travel, it's a great trailer to do that in. And thanks for watching. This is Tom with MYT Solar. Let us know if we can help you with any of your solar needs.